Hi, my name is Aisha. This is my first video of a share of a junk journal that I made. This is not the first one I've made. I've made a couple, you know, five, six, seven, <laughs> something like that. Um, this one is made out of a pizza box, like a Delicio frozen pizza box. I just cut it to six by nine so I could just take um, the copy paper and just fold it in half and sew them in. So I used either paper bag or craft paper, something like that, to cover it. And then I gessoed. And then I stamped these images of a stamp that I have. And I used black paint or black ink to ink the edges. And that is the spine. I might have to, I know, go like this. Can't, there we go. So this stitch, I don't know, I kind of just made it up. I don't know, it might be a long stitch or something. But I made another junk journal that had right here that was cutouts. I made it for my sister. So I used the same uh, pattern template that I had. So um, the... The strings, the, the ends of it would come up this way instead of inside and having to tie it that way. So I just, I had all those extra strings, so I added this button that I've had for a while and braided it a little bit, the three embroidery thread that I had. and used some beads that I had from necklaces or bracelets or something. So that's the spine and then on the back it's just plain and this is just seam binding that I got from a thrift store for cheap 25 cents <laughs> so I use Aline's tacky glue to glue it down and the front here is um, from a my mind's eye little 6x6 six six paper and there's the one right there that has that little saying I cut that out and I wanted to see if I could kind of put it dimensional. So I used this Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. And it worked, sort of, but the paper curled after I let it dry for a few hours. So when I tried to flatten it out, the Dimensional Magic kind of cracked and stuff. So maybe, yeah, you could kind of see it a little bit. So I put that on there. I like the saying on it, what a wonderful, delightful, extraordinary day. So I stuck that there. And I was going to do something else with this part, but I decided just to use a doily that I distressed with tea stain, distress ink, and some French textbook paper that I just cut by hand. I folded the paper in four and then just cut it out into that shape um, with some those decorative scissors. So all oh, these here are little middle ends, the corners, I should say. I think Walmart or maybe Michaels got them from. So Aline's tacky glue to glue those on. Inside is the other doily, and this is all French textbook paper. And a Mod Podge or decoupaged it, and a little bit of gesso, I think, to kind of mute it a little bit. So inside I have three signatures and each one starts with a scrapbook paper that kind of looked kind of old or vintage-y. <laughs> so uh, title page for each signature or title um, spot. So I made that, that's out of that mind's eye paper. A little pocket out of the scrap scrapbook paper from, from one of the signatures. Tag that he died. This is some of that poo poo paper. I bought it. Oops, bought it at Moncton Zoo. It is really neat. This is the package. Um, it's, it's pretty neat. I just bought a little one. I think I could. I think they had bigger notebooks. I got that. This is an envelope that's upside down, but it tucks in there. Uh, some tea dyed scrapbook paper, six by six. And that poo poo paper. It was kind of random. Little uh, scrap. We'll need a little tab. 
tracing paper like he died. The mind's eye, my mind's eye paper that I used from that front piece. Um, some scrap made into a little tab. Copy paper. I made a little ticket looking thing. Just kind of random stuff. Oh, just copy paper, tea dyed. And I crunched it up a little bit. Black paper with lines. I used paper clip to hold this closed. That's a security envelope that I cut off anything that was like the return address or anything like that. And I just really liked the inside of it. So, that. This is some tape I got from the liquidation place here. And it's tinted tape. It's called soot. It's just like a roll of tape. It's pretty neat. Oops. Copy paper, copy paper. It's all plain. Probably could do more, but I think it's more for writing. A tea dyed tag with a stamped bird cage. This is some of that. It's a sketchbook paper or a scrapbook um, paper. I just ripped it out from the coils. So it has that edge. Oh, scrap. It's French textbook paper. And this here is um, copy paper that I stamped at first and then I tea dyed it. So I decided to just kind of make it a flip, a flop, whatever you want to call it. I used um, masking tape for it to hold it, hold it down. Just opens like that. And that's the end of that signature, the first one. The second signature I made, a little title. I used just masking tape and some of that mine, my mind's eye 6x6 six six paper that I used for the front. The textbook paper that I hand cut into the shape, a little tuck spot. And there's some more of that mind's eye paper. This is an envelope I tried to tea dye. It didn't really turn out that dark or tell, but... This here is a um, piece of paper that I had underneath when I'd be uh, distressing with um, um, vintage photo or something. And I just cut it out into that shape uh, by doing the folding and then cutting out the shape. And this cardboard is from embellishments from Michaels that I've had. I have another one as well. And I just stuck that paper over top. I like the the design on the back of it. And that's another one of those sketch paper, scrapbook paper, 6x6 six six that I tea stained. A little scrap. Copy paper. And I distressed some of the edges too, as well. It's a little flap that keeps this closed. It's just some of that black paper. And a paper clip with a piece of ribbon that I have. Little scraps of stuff. Tea dyed paper. The other side of the envelope with a little... This was another stamped um, doily that I had and I, I stamped it all over this. This is a piece of like copy paper and I just folded it to make it a little booklet and there's pockets on top side, top side. Like that, and that fits in there. And I made this black splattery drip um, before I tea stained the paper. So I think I was from when I was doing the edging of the black on this. So I just added on here with some masking tape and it's flipping that. The end of that signature. It's the third one, and I have drywall tape I found in a shed at our old house. So I used that and used some of that my mind's eye paper. A little piece of masking tape so you could write on top. A little pocket made out of that poo-poo paper. It's very soft and when you rip it it kind of goes fuzzy. And these two I hand cut. And this one here is from Michael's. And they're dollar fifty bins. It's a little scrap of that. Another signature some of the scrap and a tea stained um, tag and here's tracing paper made a little tuck a bit oh, coming a little bit too close that sketch paper.
paper or whatnot, whatever it's called. Copy paper. Copy paper. And this paper is from Recollections. Um, I, I love this paper. And I have a, a few. I think it's just the ones that are loose. So I made a little pocket. I kind of just winged it. Tried to make something out of it. So that's what I did. I made a little pocket out of it. Just tucks like that. Here's the signature. You can kind of see the, the string. And that, so that doesn't bother me too much. paper and there's another little pocket made out of that poo poo paper that I tea stained I tea stained this one and the other one there I uh, hand cut that one using the other one that was in here and I just well I just traced and cut it out by hand a blink tag shipping tag oops I keep Hitting the stand I have here. This here is kind of, I folded it, so it kind of flips out. Like that. I use the edge punch on this. Go. That's the end of that one. That's it. So I just tie that up. So I hope you enjoyed and got inspired from what I've made. I know I've been inspired a lot by others. Um, so I will try to get some more videos of other things that I have made. So until next time, have fun crafting, drawing, arting, creating. Just enjoy life in general. Much love. Bye.